Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, ladies and gentlemen. In the last part, we um, took a look at Cortex's evil plan to stop Crash Bandicoot. As usual, it's going to fail miserably. We ventured into Arctic Antics for the first time, which our, um, our first time was 107.30, and we also get the blue gem off camera. So the next part is going to be, we're going to go to Tornado Alley, a vehicle level, as in we're going to shoot up some redneck generators. I didn't know Cortex was a hillbilly. As usual, we're going to get all the boxes and the crystal on the first first run. Then, second run is going to be the time trial. If we have time, we'll do one of my favorite levels in this warp room. Bamboozled, which is probably a close third to... Cra close fourth to Crash and Burn, Weathering Heights, and uh, Solar Bowler. I love Solar Bowler. For some reason. I love that level. I love um, Solar Bowler, which is going to be in the bonus warp room, which will need the uh, full 106 run of this Let's Play. If we get the uh, crappy ending the first time, we will go through the sec go through a bonus time off camera, get every missing gem. Cool. As you notice, this is Tornado Alley, a vehicle level. Every PS1 boss is in one of these uh, bonus fired fighter jets. And you see the boxes are uh, attached to balloons, just like in Crash 3. Turn this vibration off because it's um, getting pretty annoying. Basically, you gotta shoot up these six generators, but you also gotta worry about these. These little scrubs. For some reason on my GameStop controller, this level and um, Crash Threads are a bitch. Because this happens a lot. Trust me when I say this. So we're going to go through here and try to get all the boxes. And um, right here, we gotta basically we're gonna take care of all the boxes and the rest of the generators and anybody that's trying to fucking shoot at me. So we're just gonna part two. Now I did let me expand my opinion of this game. This is like basically the Sonic 06 of the series, but for me, I personally have a lot of patience with this game. Sure, there are some parts you get a bunch of cheap deaths and the cheap deaths and stuff, like especially in the later levels. And the Nitro Spam is fucking retarded, but <laughs> but hey, what can you, you can't control the game. I don't see you guys working at Traveler's Tales. You working at Traveler's Tales. I mean the PS2 version has some pretty dickish load times. You know? But they don't detract from the overall feel of the game. It's basically a Crash 3 light, pretty much, for anybody who hasn't played uh, Crash 3 like, when they were kids. Like, I, I haven't played Crash 3 a whole lot. I haven't, I played it on and off at a Game Trader a few, uh, a few years back. Look at the onslaught of fruit. 
It's the onslaught of fruit. Are they even hitting? There's five and one more here. I mean, there are some vehicle levels that are ridiculous, like um, the submarine. I guarantee you there's going to be an um, R-rated rating on that video. You can guarantee that. But there's other vehicle levels that are like um, the atmosphere of the Mac that are damn fun. You know? So, um... That was uh, Tornado Alley, the original run through. So basically, the goal here is we gotta shoot the hell out of the generators with the clock over our heads. The v some of the vehicle levels I could see with the time trial and stuff, you know? So this might be a relatively short part, so I might just go ahead and do um, Bamboozle after I do the time trial. For uh, Tornado Alley. Actually, they. Remember on Crash 3 how the guys that came in through the Time Twister machine were menacing, they wanted to kill you? The elementals sound like your typical schoolyard bully. Cortex has got his dick up his ass, and um, Crunch is a, in this character, they, in this game, they can make him look like a damn rapist. He's like, I get to wrap my fingers around your puny little neck. I'm like, damn, this is a kid's game. You're not simulating rape, right? <laughs> and incest. Take care of that. Oh shit, <laughs> I'm getting shot at here. So, uh, this should be pretty quick, theoretically. And I'm just like, da da da, pop that. And we see yet. And see yet. And there she go. There she go. So we are three. Oh god. Ah, rap music. Before Rocco so rudely interrupted me, I actually have a rap music playlist. This is why I usually have my head headphones in when I'm playing these kinds of games. Because rap music, mini radio, there are games that have shitty music. But I'm not gonna lie, the music in this game is some parts of it are good and some just feel out of place. Oh, hell nah. Bitch. Shoot your ass up. Yep, there we go. That was uh, Tornado Alley. And we have eight minutes on this recording. Dig him. Eight minutes so far. Took That took eight minutes to do Tornado Alley. You guys are going to get bamboozled. I love you guys. Fam. In the next part, I'm going to show you a glitch on the time trial, which was um, left by the developers of this game. That's if you don't feel like putting up with the bullshit. <laughs> I'm going to show that off in the end, too, for anybody who um, was too lazy to watch part four. For that, and I don't want to cheat in the fourth part. <laughs> You know? Because that's just wrong. Now, bamboozled! One of my... F the ball levels are so fun in this game. The ball levels are... The shit. Let me just say that right now. The ball levels are the shit. This and Solar Bowler are like my two favorite levels. And one of my four favorite levels in this game. In the later part, I'm going to bring...
in a later part, I'm actually going to bring up the one of my top five levels in this game. You already heard four of them. What's the fifth one? Boom. Ladies and gentlemen, bam, bamboozled. So you see with this ball, there isn't really much in the way of uh, controls and stuff. Except you just use the uh, directional pad here to move around. So you can gather a lot of speed. This is useful if you like want to cut the sections that have like uh, the curbs and stuff. Useful to save off a lot of time on time trial. These levels you can fucking f this level you can fly through on time trial. It's a lot of fun to do so too. But here you gotta take your sweet little time, which I don't really like, because the purpose of this thing is to zoom through the level as fast as you can like a race car. How fitting I'm listening to the perfect song too, till I collapse by Eminem. How fitting. Oh shit. Might wanna oh, okay, I'm fine. I was cruising too. Pop that. 38. So, um, this might be the last video for a while, because, um, we're going to be moving to our new, our new apartment in a few weeks, um, so I'm just getting as many videos out as I can now, because there's going to be a little bit where we're not going to have much, inter we're not going to have internet, you know? So I'm just popping videos out as much as I can. much as I can and as frequent as I can. So, um, basically how this is going to work is there are going to be two episodes of Crash Bandicoot throughout the Cortex per week. Um, it's going to be one every uh, Wednesday in the ap mor morning or afternoon. And there's going to be one every Friday night. Some in the evening on a Friday night and there's gonna be some late at night at late night episodes just like with most other let's plays I do every other let's play I've done has had a late night episode for those who um, are on a random YouTube kick on my channel watching of my videos late at night creeps and that right there you can't really stop in the in the ball well, ball while you're rolling to run into that shit. <laughs> you know, for a game made in 2001, this does have some pretty nice details, but the, some of the characters look like someone pissed in them. So we're making our way through the bridge, making our way through the bridge, making our way through the bridge. Get this box. Take care of this nitro. Get the gem. So we're just going to realize we're going to get to our favorite part. And if you, after here, our favorite level in this warp room, actually one of my most despised levels in the game, the Wizards and Lizards. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that level is a bitch, to put it bluntly. But my cousin is an asshole. We're tripping through acid. They claim it is a loading screen for the PS2 version. I like how they kind of style the PS2 and Xbox versions, but I know a friend of mine who owns a GameCube version, and he's beat it like four times. And he says the loading screen, the loading screens in that are just the word loading. 
how original, but at the same time, they had five months to port the Xbox version to the GameCube version. But in the credits, they say, Xbox programmers, when it's clearly on the GameCube. Run up on Gucci, might lose your life. So we're going to show you how awesome time trial can be in this level. When we get to the first part of the half pipe, you can just fly... If you hit it just right, you can just gloss over this section. Completely. I love doing that and just get, gathering a bunch of speed. But at the same time, you don't know if you're going to stop and, well, bam, you're going to run into a nitro. Trust me. When it's in the, this, this ball is in me, the ball is in meetable app madness too, but that half pipe section you can just cruise but at the same time you can't really cruise through much of the level because there's nitro crates and PS1 bosses everywhere oh shit might wanna you know straighten out here but then again one thing you notice is for you guys on the GameCube version the colors on this on the ball are red, blue, and green and blue damn it I wanted to, I wanted to gloss over that section. I wanted to totally skip over that section, you know? You know? One thing you notice is the PS2 version, the colors on this thing are red, green, and, green and blue. And the PS2 and Xbox versions, they are dark. They are, they are shit dark. They're dark. <sighs> really? Statement. Oh, I have to do this again? Are you kidding me? Well, that sucked. The unfortunate detriments of time trial. You can gain so much speed and not and totally forget the ability to slow down. Damn it. Good thing these don't have death routes, because otherwise I'd be fucked. Now we're gonna be cruising along, cruising along, cruising along. <coughs> or not. I guess I could totally skip that entire section. Yeah, that's totally cool. Even though I want to, you know, shave off my time because the first one through, I flew over that entire section and got a pretty decent time too. Look at that. Onto the second half pipe, you can actually pull that stuff and you fucking fly. Cruising around. And. Boom. Son. Cruising on through. Cruising on through. Well, that sucked. <laughs> to put it bluntly. Um. Sorry for that awkward silence there. I just couldn't really think of nothing to say. Right there. Going up. These levels are ones that you can't really, can't bring Aku Aku in. Boom, son. Don't know. Don't kill yourself again.
Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Now let's um attempt wizards and lizards. We're tripping through acid. Hold up. Wait a minute. Acid in this game. I just love the PS2 version of loading screen. It's basically an acid trick. <laughs> now let's attempt wizards and lizards. And try to get the crystal and the death. And the death rep gem and the unbox of gem in this level. Obviously, the normal schedule for uploading videos, these videos are going to start the week after the first part gets released. Smoking on you. We ain't no better than my last best friend. For some reason, I always like having my music in my headphones and while I'm playing on playing video games and stuff. Even though this game, some game soundtrack that I play is dope like this, but this is that time you just need that kick in the pants, which means for some reason I listen to like rap or punk metal, metal or some other shit just to get that blood going. And those of you, for those of you who've seen my hype trailer, a lot of you have um, seen my hype up trailer building up all the hype up for this game, the return of this Let's Play. Um, the song that I used was from the movie Pixels. Just game on. Waka Flocka and Good Charlotte. For some reason, if you get put put those two together, that'd be like putting Eminem with uh, Blink-182 or Lil Wayne with All-American Retex. Ah, the bonus route. AKA the biggest piece of bullshit ever. Cost me many lives when I was young. And I mean many lives when I was young. Boom. Take care of that. It's fast, motherfucker. Not getting me today. That part right there always seems to screw me. But of course... If you just take one of the crates, which is a special trick I've learned from watching Roxas1259 play this game, um, a special trick I've learned through that section is you just hit one of the boxes, crock, do this, crotch and crouch down and jump, do this, and does that little pose. That's probably a good way to clear clear that and not have to worry about that bullshit, you know? Ah, the chase level. Running away from the dragon, running away from the dragon, running away from the dragon. Oh god. This is like that scene in Shrek. This is like that scene in the first Shrek movie. Oh dear god. Oh god. Run away from, run away from the dragon. Run for the dragon. Run for the dragon. Run for the dragon. Run for the, oh shit. Run for the dragon. Run for the dragon. Run for the dragon. Run, run like hell. Run for the dragon. Run. Oh shit, don't get stuck behind those boxes. Run, 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 run. Run. Good thing he gets all the boxes for you, unlike Jungle Bungle, Jungle Rumble, um, or Jungle whatever the fuck it is, where um, they don't get certain boxes, and you're going to have to hit them, especially in time trial, too, because if you do this in this level, the dragon just runs through, hits the time trial crates, and it counts towards your time, which is nice. Sadly, it doesn't last. Oh, we're almost done, we're almost done, we're almost done, we're almost done. Oh. Well, that sucked. Guess I'll do the death route on, off camera. I'm sad now. Again, see the statement. Cheap deaths. Way too many of them.
Da -da -da. Just stepped off there. Wrong crate. Boom. I uh, really wish I didn't fuck up that section. See? Now I can't access, access the death route. God damn it. Boom! Surprise, motherfuckers. So let's just do the death route and get the red gem. Kill this bitch. So this will go up um, next Wednesday, by the way. During the morning or the afternoon, um, this episode will go up. Go ahead and get this gem. And cutscene. Again, the elemental masks in this are not intimidating. They are when you're a little kid, because you're intimidated of everything. You know? They're just not intimidating or scary in any sense of the word. There's like, there's one later in the air version where it's like, where Jess Harnell, one of my favorite actors of all time, um, next to Tom Hanks and uh, Mackay Pfeiffer, and, uh, and yeah, Mackay Pfeiffer, um, Jess Harnell, he's just, he does the voice of Lolo in this game, if you remember the first part, um, it's just not menacing, one of the lines he says, is there a draft in here? Jess Harnell can do a good girl voice, I'm not gonna lie, straight run through, straight run through, straight run through, don't die, do not 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 die. 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 I swear to God, if you die, I will kill you. If you do, if you die, I will be sad. You need an Aku Aku mask. I'm not gonna lie. Just keep running. Just. Look at that. <laughs> oh shit. Don't want to get stuck behind those crates, so be spinning. Spinning, 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 spin, spin. They want the beach. Yep, just keep running. I can't stop running. I told you, Crash always goes hard in the paint. Crash always goes hard in the paint. Sorry, Mario fuckwads, but Crash goes harder in the paint than your fat ass Italian plumber. Fat ass Italian plumber. Come on, death wrap. Maybe if you guys are nice, I'll show you the. Oh shit! Oh shit! Shit! Just keep running. Oh shit. Just keep running. Just keep running. Just keep running. We good. Yo, we good. We good. We good. We good. Fuck off. Green gem. We're good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go.
I told you this part wasn't going to be very short, so it's a good thing I did Wizards and Lizards for you guys. So, um, remember this song from the hype trailer? Yeah. We're going to do the time trial for this here real quick, and we'll end it off. The bug I will do, I will show in the end, where you, it's basically, you click select on the, this works on the PS2 version, that I didn't know of. I haven't tried it on the Xbox or on the GameCube versions. But you click select at the start of time trial, grab the clock, or it, this only works in Wizards and Lizards, in this level. Grab the clock, click select. You will get teleported to the end, and you could get a really, really clipping time. And I mean, balls fast time, too. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. Game on, Dr. Cortex. Well, that sucked. You can't body slam those knights. Just keep running, keep running, keep running. Do not mess up, do not mess up, do not mess up, do not mess up. My thumb's gonna be slipping a lot here, so expect a lot of Remember. You gotta hit these crates. Cause the dragon won't hit them. You got to. You got to hit those crates. Means you're going to be hit, better be targeting every yellow crate in the time trial. Which is what I'm doing. Sorry, my nose is there. Boom, son. We're just going to keep running. We're just going to keep running. We're just going to keep running. Just gonna keep cruising along here. Trick situations like this, if you suck at this time trial like I do, you can just click select and just pretty much cheat your way through. But if you're a completionist like me, and that doesn't believe in any in bullshitting his fans, you're gonna do the whole thing. And look at that, we got 16 seconds to spare. No, I don't want FM. The foo. Dig em. Dig em, game. Dig em. So, um, that was, uh... Three in one. It's a three-parter. Three levels in one. Minimizing all the parts and all the bullshit. We're gonna be tripping through acid again. <laughs> no man. Killer instinct. I just go hard. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Wizards and Lizards. Part 2, we covered Tornado Alley, Bamboozled, and Wizards and Lizards. The next part, we're going to cover Compactor Reactor and take care of the first boss. Crunch and Rocco. I'm sorry, that just the name Rocco sounds too Compton-y for a kid's game, you know? It's probably just me, but it sounds too Compton-y, you know? So, um, as usual, like this video if you enjoyed. Comment on this video if you want. Every comment and like means a lot. Click that subscribe button. only takes half a second of your time. And while you're at it, um, why don't you give me a follow on any social media?
B Network, I'm on. Instagram, Snapchat, Google+. Hell, give me a follow on Flippergram if you want to. And Crash says, have a good day, and he's going to be twerking. Sorry, kind of blurred out there. He's going to be flashing that ass. Okay, see, see you guys.